Hey, what's up guys? It's Brad and I wanted to make this video while I'm in this uh, in this mood right now because I mean, I'm, I'm very rarely in this type of mood nowadays, but I just find everything so funny that we're going through right now as, as a world, like overall, for this reason, okay? Just, just hear me out on this, okay? Literally, <laughs> we're living in like, we're basically living like a movie right now where you have literal like James Bond villains meeting together all like doing this weird like yes we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna all be in cahoots and we're gonna release the uh the pandemic upon the people and then sell them the vaccine yeah, and then we're gonna kill all the people <laughs> i mean it's just literal like james bond villains dude it's just the craziest shit would you ever have thought that literally bill gates the goddamn microsoft guy it's like scooby-doo or something the microsoft guy we all hated him. Like, nobody liked Bill Gates. I mean, we all looked at him. He's like, all right, he's a little weird, but whatever. And, and we all also sort of knew, like, oh, he's talking about depopulation. Yeah, he's probably, you know, gets pegged by his wife in his basement or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's all definitely coming out to be true, by the way. But also, it's pretty hilarious that literally Bill Gates, <laughs> dude, the Microsoft guy, is planning to depopulate the entire planet. I, I mean, like, just like imagining this little shrimpy man just like sitting there at the Davos group. Yes, and then we're all gonna we're, we're all gonna prosper and make billions of dollars as soon as they all die, and then we'll be left the essential ones, <laughs> like a fucking Bond villain or something. And then you got all these. These other globalists sitting around them that are also like plotting secretly to just just destroy and murder millions of people, literally, I, and they're doing it. That's the sad thing. It's it's obviously incredibly sad and horrible, and we've all been locked down for a very long time. And there have been people that have suffered a far worse fate. You know, there have been people that have died and starved in the third world. But of course, oh, but of course, it's important that we eradicate COVID nineteen with the. With the, with the survivability rate of 99.99999%. And if you take zinc and vitamin D, the survivability rate is pretty much 100% if you work out and eat clean. Um, so, I mean, it's just, it's just literally funny to me to imagine these globalists sitting around at the Davos group or the Bilderberg group, or they're getting... They literally have an event. I, I don't know why this is so funny to me, right? It kind of just is. I think I just got tired of being unbelievably depressed and angry that none of them are going to jail. And, like, the evidence is mounting up. And, like, I just got so angry this morning because, I mean, I've been really angry for weeks. Because, I mean, you think about, like, even the breaking news of last week. The Somali pirate woman, Ilhan Omar, who comes from a failed country, Somalia, who comes here and shits on America, who married her brother to come here, and she's a congresswoman, and she shits on America and talks about how racist it is. Um, she gets caught on camera ballot harvesting and paying people to go and extort and, and basically rape other people from their ballots and fill it out for them and it's on camera and nothing happens uh, so I, I, I get really upset because I'm like I'm like wait a minute so you're telling me that there's video evidence of a congresswoman literally paying people to rig the election against I mean, that's sedition against the American public. That's treason because, first of all, she's not even from here. And she espouses her hatred of white people and her hatred of America and Trump. So, like, why do I have to pay my fucking parking tickets? Why am I paying taxes? So I get mad about it. And, and you know, Hillary Clinton, you know... You, you look at, like, what she did in Haiti. You, I have friends that are from Haiti. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, what do you think about Hillary Clinton? They're like, oh, that woman is the devil. 
that woman came over and after the earthquake happened and 300, 400,000 people died, millions were without food, water, and shelter. Absolute disaster. The Clinton Foundation came in and they promised they were going to do all these things and they got billions of dollars from the American taxpayers to build houses and take care of the Haitian people. And what did they do? They built six houses. Look it up. Google it. Duck, duck, go it yourself. The Clinton Foundation built six houses in Haiti after the uh, the earthquake. I mean, true story. Crazy. And they're good. And they just, they just get away with it. So I, I personally get very irritated and pissed. You know, I'm like, is this really happening? Governor Cuomo, this schmuck. I'm here in New York City now. This guy literally uh, sent people with COVID-19 to nursing homes. And then most of the deaths came from nursing homes. So effectively, he killed old people. And then he banned people from seeing their dying parents and dying siblings. He banned people from getting uh, operations they needed, medical treatment they needed for cancer and diabetes and uh, issues they were having, whatever. A lot of people have suffered because of these lockdowns. Non-essential surgeries, I forget what they called that, were banned. Um, but he's fine. You know, de Blasio literally just smacked down the Jewish community, called the Jewish community out. He's like, to the Orthodox Jews, if you don't stop meeting in person and having your ceremonies, we're going to lock you down. And they arrested several of the leaders. That's not going <laughs> to... Oh, dude. The, you know, that's an, as an aside, too, is like, that's not going to bode well for, uh, for de Blasio and Cuomo. If they think that they're gangster, they should know better because the, uh, the Orthodox Jews, the Talmudists... They don't fuck around. They're not. They're not ones to be fucked with. They have. They have serious mafia in their uh, ranks, and if you start targeting them, I mean, personally, as a Jew myself, that that's what pisses me off so much about these lockdowns. And they're specifically calling for Jews to be locked down. They're they're isolating us by race. Black Lives Matter can can riot and protest. Jews have to be locked down. I'm like. This is not going well. Uh, so it's a very serious situation. And, 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 you know, but right now, like, I just find it kind of funny that literally, <laughs> it's almost like I'm in a movie. Like, I'm watching this movie unfold where th there's this literal, like, round table of evil people that are, like, meeting together. Yes, we are going to, we're going to fuck over America. We're going to depopulate the earth. <laughs> it's, it's real. It's crazy. Uh, I mean, I guess that, that that was like the point of the video is just like, I find it so funny also that this is actually happening. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought that we would have lived through this time, right? You know, like you get a chance to literally see like a James Bond round table of evil. That's like a goddamn comic book <laughs> play out in your real life. I just, I don't know. I mean, I guess right now I'm just enjoying the humor of it. But it, yeah, I mean, all these things are real, man. Like, all this stuff is real. Bill Gates had an interview today. I think that was what just pushed me over the edge. Like, Bill Gates, this guy is so obviously the most evil person. Like, the literal, the literal, like, James Bond villain of the century slash Antichrist. And... He isn't even a doctor. <laughs> like, he's not a doctor. He's got connections to the Wuhan lab where the virus emerged. He's on video basically threatening the world, being like, being like, yeah, if the first pandemic didn't get their attention, the second one sure will. <laughs> Literally laughing. Like, that's funny. It's funny to him. <laughs> I mean, it's just, he's so evil, it's comical. Him and his, his wife, who, by the way, they both look completely different. Go look at pictures of Bill Gates 10 years ago and his wife, Melinda Gates, 10 years ago. I don't, I don't think they're the same person. I think they're doing some weird shit where, like, they swapped and, like, 
she became a transgender man and he became a transgender woman or like he killed her and, and Kevin Klein is his new wife Melinda Gates and then he's a woman now I don't know what they're doing but they don't look like the same person they look like some some other shit for sure just look at the pictures make your own decision um and I you know like today I, I guess my my spirit is just like dude you gotta start laughing at this shit because it's just so outrageous and the, the worst part about being me and other people that are like following this stuff and, and not watching Netflix cuties still or like jerking off all day I mean I jerk off but you know I'm not like watching Netflix all day I'm actually reading I'm working on my business I'm doing all this stuff and I'm plugged into the politics because if you run a business or you're interested in making money in the future, you should be watching you know, the markets, the economics. Much of the economics, the fiat currency of our dollar uh, is based on speculation and politics. So if you don't know what's going on in politics, you're, you're kind of just, you're kind of just gambling. And uh, most people, by the way, I think have like $500 saved in their bank account or some shit. I, I've been, I, I would feel very, very uncomfortable with way more than $500 in my bank account. So, um, yeah, and so this is what I do. I, I study the politics a lot, and I study the, the markets and the economics. And I study, you know, for instance, today it came out that Bezos and Gates are funding a new startup based on carbon taxes or carbon... Uh, credit I think that was a carbon credit they're, they're obsessed with this idea it's part of their whole plan um, they're they're like incredibly hilarious plan of um, their evil mastermind plan you, you know what's so weird though the weirdest thing to me the thing that drives me the most crazy is that like literally there's this whole trade of um human trafficking child sex trafficking rings pedophiles um the deep web the dark web actually the deep web is the majority of the information stored on the internet but then the dark web is the part of the internet that's hidden you need a tor browser in order to access it and you need to know what you're doing and you need to be safe totally anonymous and protected in order to access it but they would have i'm sure they still have it going i mean you can get anything on the dark web and there was like a bunch of these videos i mean there was like a there's this huge industry supposedly on the dark web of where you pay people to do these crimes for you including kidnapping and human trafficking and and, and all the way that that's mild all the way to you know, murdering and torturing and raping babies, bestiality with babies, like just unbelievably sick shit. Like, you think I'm joking? Go research this stuff. It's it's fucking real, dude. The re research put punches and the red rooms on the deep web. You remember Silk Road? Remember that that whole thing? It was like a, a multi multi billion dollar uh, business on the deep web, the dark web. Excuse me. It was like, you know, you buy weed, you buy guns, you buy fucking drugs or whatever. But a more sinister part was the Red Rooms part and the child pornography, the CP part. That, that shit is, is a huge industry. That's one of the biggest industries that's out there. And um, it's crazy. Uh, what's so crazy to me about it is that there's no videos there how are there no there's no video evidence from epstein island there's no video evidence of bill gates uh partaking in this hillary obama uh brennan all these be comey i mean they're up to their they're up to their fucking neck in this stuff how is it that there's no videos how is it there like if there was a video of this stuff it would be the end for them that's, I think, the most frustrating thing. It, 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 the more I talk about it, the more I feel like I'm in a fucking dream. Because there's all this evidence. I mean, 
it, it couldn't be more obvious. The one goddamn, it, it just so epic. It's like the one goddamn thing that will actually wake the public up is videos of this shit. Like actual HD, completely damning videos of these people with their voice, they're, uh, they're caught in the act, they're caught red-handed, there's a video of it. Like, where are these videos? And you say they don't exist. They do exist. <laughs> Epstein Island, it's been said, it has all these cameras and shit. You know, what is going on with Gislaine Maxwell? Oh, excuse me, Gislaine Maxwell. I, I just don't get it. Like, what the fuck is going on? Um, and, uh, you know, part of me is almost like, just kind of been like, all right, well, you know, I guess they're going to get away with it. I guess Hillary is going to get away with it. I guess she's going to get away. We've all known about Benghazi. I'll remind you about specifically what that was. They had, they had SEAL Team uh, 6, I believe. They had these different uh, high-ranking military members, and they had ambassadors in this embassy overseas. Hillary knew about it, Obama knew about it, all these people knew about it, and they just they just pretty much said, you know what, we're going to let him go. And new evidence is coming out supposedly that, um, you know, they have videos, they have audio, they, they have documents. That's what I saw last night, was that they have all this stuff. But I'm like, dude, if you had this stuff... I mean, I'm just amazed that nobody has come forth with anything truly damning and just posted it to fucking YouTube. How hard is that? You open up a, an account and you post one of these fucking videos. Is it really that hard to get? Are they really that controlled? Like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, Instinct-wise, I think that ultimately the stuff will come out and, um, you know, you'll get videos of, like, Gates doing something so heinous that, you know, you don't ever want to see it. I've seen a couple of these videos. I've seen, like, like I've, I've watched plenty of gore. If you go to bestgore.com, you can see a, a whole bunch of shit, like, you know, Indian guys getting electrocuted from climbing a, a fucking pole tower, or they commit suicide, you know, and they get chopped in half by a fucking train or Mexican cartel assassination videos where they're chopping off people's heads, ISIS videos. None of that really, honestly, like it, it bothers me a bit, but the videos of children being murdered uh, or raped, and I've only seen one that really disturbed me, which I've talked about before, about like a, a little girl being walked to her, uh, to have her organs harvested, as they call it and she's begging for her life. That was the worst one I've ever seen, and it, there was no gore in it. There's another one of uh, John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, raping a little boy in the shower of uh, Comet Ping Pong Pizza, but it's dark and you don't see it, so it's not damning enough. It's, it, I mean, it's just not damning enough. I mean, I have, we all have iPhones. You're telling me that there's not one example of this I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. They, they probably have blackmail on all these people. But even so, I just have a really hard time believing that not one, not one person has the balls to flip. Not one fucking person has the balls to actually release video evidence or photographic evidence, audio, just something to, to put it all together. It's just damning these people to the hell that they deserve to be in. I mean, we're coming up on this election. It's October 13th. The election is in uh, about 21, 22 days, 21 days, three weeks. Dude, and Joe Biden is running with Obama with every all the crimes they've committed. All, the fact that Hillary ran. It, it's just, it's just like, what is this? This is crazy. And uh, it's kind of like watching a James Bond movie. Like, but, but it, it's sicker, though, in some ways. You know, like I have to find ways to laugh at it because when you read into this stuff and you, you research it and 
you know, being that I work from home and I also saw, for me, like the big thing was like when, when COVID-19 came out, which Bill Gates and Fauci both have direct links to the virology lab in Wuhan that created this thing because it's not, it's not a natural virus. It's a chimera virus and any, all these doctors that come out and say that they're getting censored and they're being threatened to have their jobs taken away and their licenses taken away and all that. Um, 5G is rolling out like, and we all know that 5G, if you don't know about 5G by now, go look that shit up. And by the way, there's certain things uh, that you could do to protect yourself against EMF. I just actually am uh, in the process of finishing an article about how you can use stones, Tesla coils, you see this coil, Faraday cages, and things like that to actually reduce the amount of EMF exposure that you have in your body. Because that radiation directly influences you, it influences your thoughts, your anxiety, your heartbeat, everything. So uh, that's on bradholiday.com if you're interested in checking that out. But just research how to protect yourself against EMF, microwaves, 5G, 4G, LTE, all that stuff. It, it influences you in a not so good way. Your computer, all these things, microwaves. So. The point of it is, though, is that, like, I mean, it can be overwhelming because there's so many, uh, like, all these people in the government, worldwide, all these big business owners, Hollywood, I mean, it's just unbelievable. It feels like the the, the authority, the, the world as you know it is just falling away. All these people that you think that you would trust listen to politicians, um, the governors, I mean, the, the, the judges. Here's a good example, Cuomo. I remember when COVID-19 came about and I would watch uh, Cuomo's daily updates and they would actually make me feel calm because I, I felt like his leadership, his calmness in that crisis was so, uh, it was good. I was like, wow, okay. Like this guy is taking it seriously. He's he's defending New York and he's really all about protecting us. No, no, not at all. He's actually in bed with the people that released the virus into the world. He is. And you see that now, like we're in, let's see, it's October 13th. The, we went into lockdown we're not really in lockdown. We can leave our houses and get ammo. You could go and tell these people what you think. There's not a lot of people that are really woken up to that level. There's still a lot of people that are like walking around, driving around with their fucking mask, their face diaper, and, 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 and observing this. Me personally, when I go to the store, I argue with people. I'm like, I, I went to Best Buy the other day with my girl and I didn't want to make a scene in front of her because, you know, it's just too much. But Whenever people tell me put on the mask or tell me to put the mask over my nose, I number one, ignore them. Like I'll wear the stupid face diaper, you know, to just go in and get some stuff. But if I can go and find another place that doesn't make me wear the face fucking diaper, I'll go to that place instead. Um, and then when I see them, I'll be like, hey, what's the uh, mortality rate of COVID-19? And they'll say, like, I don't know, very low. I'm like, yeah. But, but no, seriously, give me some give me some statistics here. What is the mortality rate of COVID-19? And they'd be like, very low. I'm like, I'll tell you. It's for people my age, I'm 32, it's 0. 0.000001 with inflated numbers. And I'm like, and also, you see this? You see this face diaper? And I'm actually gonna transfer this onto the next video, but like, I'll just lecture them about it because it's ridiculous. If we all just said, like, this is ridiculous all at the same time, they can't stop us. And you're starting to see that in other countries that aren't America. Also, you know, all the countries, by the way, I just have to point this out. All the countries, by the way, that said, like, you Americans are so paranoid. You need to, you know, you don't need that too. Right? Why do you need that gun? The government needs a gun, mate. All right. There's a bunch of, bunch of paranoid cunts over there. Now, everyone in Australia that's being locked in their houses and seeing their wives beaten in front of their children are like, well, I can kind of see why y'all consonated the, uh, that Second Amendment over there. It's like, 
yeah, that's why I love this country. I've never really spoke. I mean, we have problems, of course, but we're not going to go and say, like, you don't need a Second Amendment. Having a Second Amendment is extremely important, and we're seeing why right now. Like, there's never been a more important time to have a Second Amendment. And whether or whether or not you're given permission to have it, I would recommend each and every one of you also have a way to protect yourself. Because, dude, if some fucking UN military member... Look at look into the history of the UN and their crimes against humanity. Look at what they do in Liberia. You ask any UN... You ask any civilian in these countries where the UN militaries come in, they're the most corrupt organization ever. The UN, I'm just gonna bring this up real quick, the UN is responsible for war rape, murder, war crimes, uh, drug dealing, sex trafficking, human trafficking, than any other institution out there. Any other, I mean, you know, maybe there are some other militaries that aren't, but dude, the UN is notorious for raping women, uh, engaging in this this horrible horrible shit they're not it's not a great it, it's not a good institution the who who likes the WHO anymore with all the flip flops they, that they fucking have where they said at the beginning of COVID-19 that oh no it, it, it's not it, you can't transfer it human to human now it's it, and then, then after that they were like actually uh, the, the new research we just made up is that you can uh, actually no you can't you don't need a mask. You do need a mask. Actually, new research says you don't need a mask. You can you can go out and have a drink, but make sure that you insert a butt plug up your ass uh, three inches. Oh, actually, the butt plugs uh, are damaging the environment, so you need to go burn them. Nobody trusts them anymore. The WHO, the UN, they're all part of this globalist takeover where they're trying to have one world governments reduce the population. Like, this is all documented shit. And anyone that's like, oh my god, you're a conspiracy theorist. No, I just read their own documents. I, I, I actually go to the UN website. I actually read the Green New Deal, the, the Biden campaign's uh, policy that they're going to try to push if they get elected. I just read what they write. I, like, literally, just go to the site and read the things that they, they publish. And you'll see, like, wow, oh, wow, they actually talk about a one-world government. They talk about population uh, reduction, and carbon footprint reduction. They're the ones that said it, not me. So, anyway, that's about it. Um, I'm going to make another video about masks since I feel like it. And then uh, I'm going to get back to work. If you're interested in my product, which goes over a lot more than just this, there is a lot of stuff on conspiracy, spirituality, uh, getting right with God, my different understandings of different religions, uh, my different understandings of the corruption and conspiracies globally and in the United States especially, which is where I live. Um, I, the product is affordable, it's 150 bucks, and it helps me keep going if you're interested in coaching for game or fitness or whatever. I have a lot of experience in those areas, would be glad to help you, it helps me keep going. Thank you guys for watching, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my blog, bradholiday.com, for more uh, free info. Peace.